Last year, the Wofford Terriers men's basketball team went 15 and 9 in one of the stranger basketball seasons we've ever seen with the COVID-19 pandemic. Head coach Jay McCauley joins us. And boy, through all that, you win a virtual share of the conference championship. You, you weather the storm off the court. Does this season, the beginning at least, seem almost normal now? <laughs> it does. You know, we've had a chance to be with our guys over the summer, which is a huge asset for us, like most programs in the country. So already we've got a head start from this year compared to last. And I think our guys are much more appreciative of little things, and that's how we like it around here at Wofford. So, mm -hmm. so far, so good. Let's talk about leadership, first of all. You lose guys like Storm Murphy and Trey Hollowell. Uh, their effect, your two leading scorers on the court, but off the court, the spark and the motivation that they provided to the younger guys. Is that going to be a tough void to fill? Always. I mean, we've lost 60, 70 percent of our scoring and production the last two, three years due to graduation. So we're used to this by now, and that's just how Wofford is, kind of a cyclical two to three guys that develop over the course of their career and have great careers at the same time develop as men and are great leaders for our program. So Storm and Trey won a lot of ball games here, but they were tremendous leaders and I think really passed the torch on like many of those previous teams have done uh, to where we'll have some new leaders step up and, you know, that just takes time. You know, at first glance, it's not like the cupboard is bare. You've got some really, really good talent on this roster. You know, with the style that you play, both offensively and defensively, how important is it to be deep, to have 10, 12 guys who can play at any given time? Well, number one, just for a practice uh, perspective, like you want to have at least 10 to 12, maybe 13 guys. The way we want to compete, we're known around the league as the, probably one of the tougher teams, the more physical teams, and that's just not us flicking the light on on game day. So. Mm -hmm. For practice purposes, it's so important that we have a healthy, deep roster. And then, obviously, in games the last few years, analytically, we've been, you know, picking the pace up a little bit on misses and turnovers. So, you know, if you're going to play that hard and run, you better have some some depth. And uh, certainly looking forward to throwing some new guys out there and seeing some guys that are returning, yeah. you know, expand their roles a little bit. I was going to say, in terms of new talent coming in, you you've got some great newcomers. You've also got one guy who didn't play last year, Isaiah Bigelow, yeah. who we're all looking forward to completing the uh, the comeback from the knee injury. How's he been so far? He's been terrific. Uh, and you know Isaiah is just a great kid, awesome smile. He's so pumped up to play this year and what he didn't have last year uh, to help our team after a good freshman year campaign. You know, there's only three, maybe four guys held over from our 2019 team. He's one of those guys. Mm -hmm. so. You know, he's looking forward to adding some length, some versatility, as well as some leadership, just from in terms of knowing how to get to that point. Mm -hmm. uh, but every day he's getting stronger, growing in confidence, and as a coach, I can't wait to see him out there in action. In terms of the Southern Conference, it's a cliche to say it's wide open. It's pretty wide open uh, this year. Of some coaching changes. Um, nobody can agree on exactly how this thing is going to shake out. Do you have any early general thoughts about what this this battle is going to look like this season? I don't, uh, and I never do. You know, I don't really get into that just because every year it seems like our league is getting better and better, and every year they seem to have us in the middle of the pack, and we kind of take that for what it is and, and work on ourselves and make sure we do the best we can every day. So all those are projections and potential, and all that doesn't really mean anything at this stage of the game. So. I'm looking forward to seeing another uh, group of teams in our league that are well coached, got a lot of good pieces uh, around the conference so that there are those rivalries that we've kind of made here the last several years. But it's another top 10 conference, mm -hmm. so it won't be an easy night. And uh, our guys are looking forward to that. Final question. I really like the out of conference schedule. You guys have cobbled that together. Some very, very interesting games. Only one plane trip. That's kind of the new normal with a lot of things. So uh, how good a test will that be with some some pretty high marquee matchups, including a little homecoming to Athens, Georgia for you against those Bulldogs? <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of uh, regional tests that I think were on purpose due to COVID and staying regionally and 
you know, not going through airports and all that. So mm -hmm. thankfully we've got some good home and home matchups and some big heavyweight matchups that I think our fans can travel to, as well as a really good matchup here versus the top 25 team in Richmond, which seems like every year we've had a game like that, a marquee game that our, our crowds mm -hmm. can get behind. So I encourage everyone to come out, travel to those games, come to our games and, uh, you know, pack this place out again. We are looking forward to it. It all starts on this court right behind me here at Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium against Bob Jones University. Hope to see you there.